Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna talk about the large cow barn with feeding robot. This might be a challenging thing because some things are not really clear and it took me quite a while to figure out so I thought I better make a video on this so help you out on this topic. It is actually a very cool barn and I'll show you why in a minute. I have all these brown Swiss dairy cattle in here. Uh, I like this breed, they look so cute, right? Okay, let's get inside because the rain is just bothering me. Okie dokie, this barn also fits 80 cows. Same as the barn, the larger barn without feeding robots. And it also has these cute, awesome Lely astronaut robots. So they're just amazing. But the feeding robot is really why this barn is so special and expensive too because it's over 700,000 euros here we have the feeding robot apartment and it has three compartments it has the hay department and then we have straw and then we have silage and everyone is pointed out by its own icon and you can only put loose stuff in there so don't put bales in there, it won't take them. Okay, around the corner here, there's mineral feed. Just bring the pallets over there and they will disappear magically. Okay, feeding robot needs all these four, otherwise it's not gonna be able to mix the feed and not gonna be able to feed your cows. And you're not gonna be able to put any feed in front of the feeding gate here. The only thing you can put in front of the feeding gate is straw, which will be placed into the, the beds then, okay into the cubicles so this is what the feeding uh sorry the barn looks like and i'll show you where to get it so you go to construction click animals cows and then select the last one it says barn with feeding robot okay so it fits the same amount of cows as the other large barn but this one has the feeding robot so that's what makes it so special and expensive okay so let's see if we can see the feeding robot at work okay it just has started so there will be a screen in front of here so it's basically to protect you from getting picked up by the feeding robot which not really might happen in this game but in real life it's quite uh not really fun i would say so it's actually just grabbing a bite from every foodstuff that's in here except for the mineral feed you won't see that one because it's already taken the minerals inside so you won't see that but that's okay um so then it just adds all of the food stuff, one bite of every one. Then the screen opens up and the robot comes out. This is really, really, really awesome. I love it. So it comes out and then it goes inside. And I will just fast forward with this for you because it's going to take a while. Things not very fast and as soon as you move too close, like I did twice here, the thing just stops. Just like it would do in real life. It would just stop. I don't know if you ever have seen one of them in real life, but you can mainly find them in um, expos and that's awesome. So here you see the thing is just tagging along the feeding uh, fence. And then it's just gonna empty itself there by feeding the cows. So this is done all automatically as long as you provide the food stuff, uh, all of the four which are actually needed. So hay, straw, silage and mineral feed it's gonna take care of itself and then it stops and it returns to its station and it will be there for a while until it's needed again so uh, you also have to build a manure heap and you have to find that one at the silo extensions not the silos because the silo one will not fill up it's just not the right one so go to silo extensions and then find the manure heap extension and lo locate it close to the barn. And if it's too far away, it will tell you. Okay. So and then it says something like, it's too far from the barn. You have to place it closer to the barn, something like that. Okay, I hope you know now what to do. And thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye, take care.